Hi, this is Mike with Particle Flocker, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a new feature in the latest version of Particle Flocker, which is all about baking particles. So, the next time you download and install Particle Flocker, uh, any version beyond 1.4.6, you'll see a new menu in the Particle Flocker window called Utilities, which has this Bake Particles drop down and three options for how to bake particles. Particle baking is essentially converting each particle into an object that can be used in some other way, such as a locator, or a joint, or just a transform. And this can be really useful if you want to export the data into something like a game engine as either a skinned mesh or as uh, raw animation data. Okay, so in order to demonstrate this feature, I've got a simple test scene set up, which is just a single seek target uh, moving around a circle and you know a big group of particles following them around. Um, so let's say I'm happy with this simulation and I want to convert it into something that can be exported. Uh, the first step I'll need to do is to simply select the particles. Um, the simulation baker works by looking at the timeline that you've currently got set and it will bake the range that you have. So if you wanted a smaller range than your full simulation you would just need to set your range using the range slider bar here, but I'm, what I'm going to do just to demonstrate this is I'm going to go from frame 1 to frame 150 and I'm simply going to choose in this case uh, to bake to joints. Now the process can be a little bit slow depending on how many frames you've got but as you can see it's not ridiculous. Um, in this case I've got 150 frames it probably takes uh, about 30 seconds to bake. So I'll just pause the video there and we'll continue once it's complete. Okay, so that bake is now finished, and what we have here is we have a group in our outliner which is actually positioned at the position of the particle node. Now, in my case, my particle node was actually placed slightly away from the particles. Um, it really doesn't matter where you place this, it just means that that's where your origin will start. Once this is baked, of course, you can reposition this in any way you like. All of the uh, subjoints, as you can see, have a keyframe for every frame. And if I scrub the slider, you can see that those particles, those joints, will actually move in the same way that the particles will have done in the simulation. So we can actually now delete our particles and still be left with joints which animate in the way that we, we want them to. So other options within the uh, the bake are to bake to transforms, which will essentially create a, an empty group node for each particle, or locators, uh, which is, as you can see here, I've done a bake using locators. Um, it, it essentially is exactly the same as joints, it just changes the object uh, to which it bakes as a convenience. So quite a simple addition, but I hope quite a useful one to certain people. If you're interested in uh, exporting your simulations, baked simulations, into a game engine such as Unity or Unreal, uh, this could be very useful to you. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions, please uh, send me an email or uh, send me a message on the Facebook page. Thanks very much, and see you soon.